Good morning, it's Thursday the 9th of February. Trust that you've got something to start the day with. If you have your Bibles, turn to Genesis 3 verse 13. Genesis 3, verse 13. We know in Genesis 3 that the fall of man takes place. Basically, Adam and Eve have been made by God established in a loving relationship, given their lives, given everything, and asked to refrain from eating from one tree. We know that the serpent comes in and tempts Eve to eat of the tree. She falls for it because it's good to the eyes, it's good for the boastful pride of life, and it's... and it's. Uh, so she eats, and Adam eats with her, and then we know that the Lord comes looking for them. And first he asks, Adam, where are you? But then I want to get to verse 13 when he turns to Eve. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me and I ate. Basically, they returned God's love for them with an affair. They brought someone else into the relationship. They allowed someone else to get between God's love for them and their love for him. And they believed the lie that God was holding out on them and that he hadn't given of his best to them. And someone else, the serpent, convinced Eve of this. And she listened to it and Adam went along. But this morning I want us to focus in on the Lord's question. And the Lord God said to the woman, what is this you have done? And... I want to say to you this morning, we're talking about grace this week. We're talking about bringing people into the presence of grace. We're talking about grace being level ground where we're all brought equal and on level footing before the Lord because His grace meets us at our point of need. But we have to stop at some stage. We have to take stock at some stage and we have to say, what is this I have done? We need to take ownership of decisions. We need to take ownership of choices. We need to take ownership of things that have led us to where we're at. It's so easy to often blame God and say, why is this happening to me? How's this? Why are you letting this? How can a loving God? Hmm. We very seldom stop and ask, what is this that I have done? What is this that you have done? God asks of Eve. And so take a moment and just reflect a little bit Life's choices, life's decisions, how you've gone with the ebb and flow. What has brought you to this Thursday morning? And as you face this Thursday as it lies ahead of you, take ownership of what's brought you to here. What is this that you have done? Because mm, she blames the serpent, Adam blamed her. And, you know, the joke goes that the serpent didn't have a leg to stand on. But, but... To, ex, to enter into God's grace. Om Godse genade in jou leven te kry. Moet jy eerlik hierdie vraag antwoord. Wat is het wat jy aangevang het? Wat is het wat jy gedoen het? As jy daai gaan aanvaar, as jy dit gaan jou eie maak, en jy gaan sê, jyre, dis wat ek gedoen het, dan laat jy toe dat sy genade in jou leven kan begin werk. Maar ons moet daai antwoord gee. We have to answer the question, what is this that you have done? And once you've answered that, then the Lord can work with hmm, with your life, with the rest of your choices, with the rest of your day that lies ahead. And instead of ducking and diving the question, face it head on and ask yourself, what is this that I have done? And then answer it before the Lord so that His grace can kick in because that's exactly what happens here. He, he hmm, takes on the serpent. He gives them the results of their decisions. But he doesn't kill them on that morning. Sin enters their life and that's a choice that they made. And God knew that. That's why he warned them against that tree. Take ownership. Answer the question. What is this that you have done? Instead of trying to blame somebody, ask yourself, what's my ownership in this? And then, God's grace can help you to move forward with a solution. 
And that's my challenge for you this Thursday. I trust that it's a good one.